Hey guys. I'm hoping everything is working okay. I may need to move my microphone forward a bit. And I'm just going to grab my reference while you are all logging on. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's in my gallery and I didn't need to go all the way through my messenger. Or maybe not. I think it was only in my messenger. Okay, we're nearly finished anyway, so there's no point in me moving it. Hopefully I'm live, everything's working, the microphone is working. Um, drop a comment below if you're here, even if it's just a wavy hand. Just so I know that I'm not alone and talking to myself. Like the Billy No Mates. And there's not a lot to get done tonight, in all honesty. Okay, we're done with the oranges. I need to separate them. Because I need to write them on my colour list for you guys. Don't need that one. And I probably don't need half the greens now either. But um, okay. Well, I'm just going to crack on then while you guys are logging on. Oh. Sorry for the big camera thing right in my face. Where'd she go? Here I am. I'm trying a new setup because it's awkward looking up there to the second camera where it's easier just to look straight ahead. So I've moved it in the delight that it will work but the trouble is if I knock my desk too hard you go bouncy bouncy hi Joanne how are you today I'm just cracking on while people are logging on Hoping Coffee Man doesn't forget to make a coffee. Now? Yeah. Haven't had one for at least two hours. Haven't had one for at least two hours. I burnt the dinner in a strop as well, which didn't help. You can see okay, can't you? Yep. Yeah. I don't think it's going to take me that long to finish this, so I'm going to wait for more people to be on before I ask. But I have got a project planned for another live feed, which you I keep getting asked about doing shiny objects and reflections. And I do have a shiny object, which I quite fancy having a go at, which is bright pink. So we'll see how today goes and we'll work it out from there. Um, if you are watching and you're happy to do a sneaky share for me, I'd be really, really grateful. And let's just let's just do a quick post for my Instagram 
follow us. Oh, you're going to get me filming in a minute. Hey guys, just to let you know, I'm live on my YouTube channel. So come and find me and the link is in the bio. Short and sweet. There you have it. Okay, back to reference picture. Of course, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Oh, it's easier to see it on my phone. Still not good, hun, but I have brought an armrest from my desk so I can get back to drawing. Oh, hopefully that'll help. I don't know why I'm looking up there now. See, I'm in the habit of looking up there now. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Vicky. Finally subscribed. <laughs> that bee and flower look amazing. Thank you. He's coming up really, really well, isn't he? And he's been a big favourite on um, on my Instagram. I can't seem to share. Right, share. Share, share, share. Let's tweet it out. I'm live now. Help if I could spell properly. I cannot type on my phone like I can on my keyboard. It's really, really weird. I have to have it up and thumb type. I can't finger type on my phone. It's very, very strange. Okay. I nearly put you boob then. Um, I take it everyone can hear me okay? Hi Erica. Mike's plugged in but that doesn't always guarantee that I've set it up properly. Okay, I will stop fuffing now, okay? Promise. Capital, Bonita, capital. Come on, grammar. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, there's not a lot left to do. So, depending on how long this takes, I may stop the live feed and then do a second live feed because I'll show you the reference picture when I get close to finishing because it really, it really does depend on time. But it's like, you know those, Brill, um, you know those bubble animals? I don't know where my coaster's gone. Cover chat. Thank you. Um, you know those balloon animals, but they're ceramic? Um, I found one of a flamingo. Ah, my battery's dying. A flamingo the other day. And it's really, really gorgeous. And it's this really lush pink. So I'm quite tempted to draw it because doing, <laughs> I think he's quietly trying to get to his computer. Um, is it, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's like this bright fuchsia pink and a few people have asked me to do a tutorial on reflections and shiny surfaces so I thought it killed two birds pardon the pun with one stone um, so I am quite tempted to oops do the next live feed based around that I'll show you a reference picture later so there's not much left to do on here um, P.S. I'm probably going to mention this a couple of times through the live feed, depending on how many people hop in through the evening. But tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock, there's a premiere on my YouTube channel. And I am answering the question to whether or not tracing is cheating. 
and I give my views and opinions and a little bit of history. So if that's something that's of interest to you or you've got an opinion on, um, then yeah, come over to the premiere. If you've never seen a premiere before, it acts almost like a live feed. So all my followers, subscribers get to see it and you can comment on it like it's a live feed. So we can have a real time discussion while the premiere is playing. Um, yeah, so it'd be quite interesting to get your views on that. I can't wait for you to start the hummingbird tutorial. It's just so stunning. I can't even like, I'm really pleased with, look at those flowers. It's upside down, I know, but the flowers are just beautiful. And they're so quick and easy to render up. So you're gonna get this done quite quickly. It's not gonna be a time consuming one, which we all love the idea of, of course. The first part's uploaded now. So you can crack on with the first bit. If it's cheating, I'm a cheater. Oh, aren't we all, mate? Yeah, it's um, it's an interesting debate. So I'm not going to give anything away. It's only 10 minutes long. So it won't take long to, to watch. But yeah, it's, it's quite an interesting one. And it's one I've been meaning to do for a while, but I only, the reason why, because today I had something else planned. I was going to do your Q&A from the group questions, but I felt like this needed to be addressed because um, it was, it was mentioned to me in another video, not in a malice way. So I thought I would answer that question anyway, or my opinion of that question. So yeah, it'd be, be interesting to see what you guys think. I've done a crop here that's not the same as my reference, so I must have done it like that. It's really annoying because all this back leaf is out of focus, so it's all blurry. And I mentioned to you in the last previous two live feeds that I didn't want it to be blurry. So I'm having to sort of make some information up a bit now. <laughs> I won't. Oh, for those of you that missed the hair Patreon tutorial, the Patreon study, I've said that word too many, it was the hair study that you said you seem to have missed. If you look in the Patreon Facebook group, it's actually on the list of tutorials under the file section. It's at least not quite going how I want it to. Another aphid in there as well, which I don't really want to add in. I'm going to blur very slightly the outside edge. It doesn't have to be absolutely crisp. And I'm going to lighten in here slightly. a bit more shape <sighs> oh pressed a bit hard there
finding my arm is suffering so much more since I stopped using a tilt desk. Luckily I've got some of this worktop left over so um, if it gets too intense I'm going to actually make my own tilt desk out of the same desk top. Okay. Now I'm going to come back to that if I feel I need to. I don't necessarily think I do actually. But this bit has got loads of that wiry hair that you, we're not going to be able to see. So I need to make sure there's enough wax on this stem to use the slice tool on it to get that fluffy look from where we, we can actually see it. Right, okay, so if you remember the ombre technique that we did on this bud, we're going to do the same again on the stem. Right, you can still see, can't you? Yeah, I've got 50 billion screens open. Okay, makes it easier. Right. So right on the edge there is practically white. So do you know what? I don't even think I'm going to need that until I need to blend. So I'm going to work opposite. I'm going to go in with my dark first. I've got a habit of holding my paper really hard and that's why my arm hurts. So let's eliminate that mm -hmm. need. Erica, how can you be in two places at once? Okay, there we go. I haven't got to worry about holding my paper now. Got to finish under here as well. I think you're all right where you are for the moment, but if you need me to zoom in. Oh, <laughs> I'll say you're a blooming superhero. Do you know, I think we'd be done in half an hour. Okay, I'm going straight in with the mid-tone and I'm leaving negative space up the top of the, on the edge because that's where it's the lightest. It's practically white. What's going on? My phone's going nuts. Okay. Blend that all in. Right, I'm going to go up to the lightest on the edge that has no colour to the background because it's irrelevant because we're not going to see any of the white on white. So I'm just going to use my artistic licence and colour all the way up. Gently on that edge. Now we've got very much a clear cut line down the middle, which we don't want. So we're now going to work between the pencils to 
actually make it a much more natural transition. Um, the Patreon tutorial, there's about 30 minutes, I think, where there's no sound and there was no point in me voicing over because it's exactly the same as what we did previously. Um, the rest of the video is fine. It is literally just that snippet where the microphone didn't work. Can you see it's much smoother now? Do you know what? In fact, I think I'm I'm going to do the pale just so it doesn't look so odd. Blend over the whole lot. Let's get this back one filled in, which actually is quite light. And that's not the wrong note. That's not the right type of green. I just have to play between these two, to be honest. I still think it looks like some weird broccoli. Okay, what I'll do is when I come to do the slice tool, I'll zoom you right in. But we haven't got enough wax on there. Although I'm really, really impressed with the slice tool because I've actually been using it like an eraser and it's worked really really well so even if you don't have masses of wax on there I like a scalpel a standard metal scalpel I think because the end is rounded rather than to a point um, it doesn't damage anything certainly not if you go gently and I used it for some indenting I'm doing another watch commission at the moment and this has had to come out so you know it's small when I have to get the magnifying glass out to get the details in. I will Joanne, I completely forgot to do it last time I think. It might, did I? Oh, do you know I don't actually remember. Um, but I will do. I've separated the pencils and I'll separate them again tonight so I can then list list the colours that are used. Right, we need not much, but we just need to blend over the top of that because it blends out really softly and it's very, very pale where that light is just hitting it in that area. What we need to go is much darker under here. There we go, look at that. Isn't that nice? Uh, hi, John. Um, um, you can get them from Amazon or Slice Direct. I had a very, very cheeky follower buy mine after I purchased the wrong one. Um, and I wasn't in a position where I could by the correct one and she sneakily went off and purchased it for me love her 
was so sweet. Okay. Just get that shadow blended out a bit more. We need to be a bit darker under here. How are you, John? I was just going to move it then, but it's blue tacked down, isn't it? Um, okay, let's go in with this slice tool and get the bits done that I need to get done. So I'm going to zoom you in as far as I can, and hopefully you won't go too far power of technology here in my hands. Ah, don't snap, don't snap. Come on, you can come down further than that. Oh, my cable, my cable. Hang on, I'm going to make you really, really... No, I'm not. Oh, technology never works. There we go, okay. Pull you down. Let's get you at the right angle. I'm all right. Right, you're completely out of focus, so let me just focus you up. Although it should be on autofocus, so I don't quite know why it's not. What's the point of autofocus if you don't focus? What a pointless option. Okay, you're in focus now. Okay. Let me show you so you don't make the same mistake. I purchased a slice tool thinking, if I put it there, that would help, thinking I had the right one. But I accidentally purchased the auto retractable, whereas everyone else I've seen uses one that once you push up, it doesn't auto retract. But I have seen people use it with the auto retract. But the trouble is, is you're concentrating too much on putting the pressure on the mechanism. So, my naughty, naughty follower purchased me the correct one, which is just, I suppose, like a, a standard scalpel. And it has the same twist mechanism as the, I've forgotten what they're called, the Fiskars out, stab himself whatever it's called, I can't remember now, oh, where you just twist the end and then you replace the blade, but because they're ceramic blade, they're supposed to last a lot longer. So, without cutting my finger up anymore, we are going to, I like to use the blade upside down. So rather than doing it that way, I'll do it that way and then that way it stops the paper getting damaged even more now because the hair direction is going upwards it will probably be easier for me to turn my paper make sure you can see and we're just going to pull out she says oh, maybe that direction isn't any good in the other direction that's a bit better don't even know if you can see that very well to be honest showing up very well and I don't quite know why hopefully you can see it here a bit more effectively oh, I'm getting really hot
that's worked really really well I'm happy with that we've got little ones all the way on here so I'm just doing lots of little I'll say hopefully the camera's going to pick it up but when when you zoom out it adds to the overall effect but of course the lighter the color the less visible it becomes but it's enough to as I say give you the effect that you're after and we have got little dots all the way down this stem you could probably just see let me do it on a darker patch can you just see on the end of the knife but it's uh, yeah really effective to do it on the leaf as well complete tax making my picture squeak nice little aphid on there as well I didn't notice that the odd long one but not many Okay, few on the leaf, not many. Probably be it on that leaf to be honest. And the odd one on this bit. There you go. So when we then come to let's put the lid on because no doubt I'll end up taking my finger apart. When we come to zoom back out, oh, I've twisted it now, so it's going to be really annoying. Sorry, guys. Focus, because autofocus seems to be non existent. Thank you. I think that's focused. Yeah, it gives you a really nice natural feel. So all I've got to do is finish this last bit on here and then I'll show you this picture if you want me to go ahead and do a second live feed as it's literally only been half an hour. Okay, what that bit is underneath but it's all actually quite light under here I have a feeling that that is <laughs> it's an antenna of another aphid so there is nothing under there annoying much hi Hayley I'm all for the second live yeah let me let me know in the comments don't be shy if you've never commented before I'm not mean I promise let me know in the comments if you want me to just hop on and do a second live feed I'll probably go for an hour something along those lines
maybe two. We'll see, who knows. There we have it. Only one thing left to do. Right, let's put all my colours there. And then I know. And then I need to find oh, my signing pen. And there we have it. All done. Okay, let me show you this reference. I've got a really annoying little gnat flying around the office. Um, okay, this reference is... I think I know which one I want to do, but it's going to be really dark in the camera. But there he is. I've realised just how much you're falling. My face is here, I promise. Um, so there was that one, that one, or that one, but it's probably that one that I'll end up doing because you get a lot more of the shape um, and there's a lot more highlight areas and there's a nice bit of blue on his beak that you can see there as opposed to, although I do, oh, I do quite like that one. One, or even two. Well, I don't think you see enough of him. One or two. One or two. Let me know in the comments, one or two. And that's what I'll do on the next live feed. And I'll freehand sketch it so you can see the process for that as well. And I'll sort this camera out so you're looking at my face and not set anything else. Right, it's one folk for one. Oh, I'm pretty pleased with him. I'll have to swap the um right, let's save the reference picture because I'll need to put that on the other feed. Hi! You're just missing me swapping over to a second live feed because I finished this in half an hour. So one one oh, that's three for one really okay right that's the one we're doing then okay and yeah that should be fun help me so give me five minutes to just get the reference picture up on the video as it is now. I just need to grab my paper. I'll do it on A4 Strathmore Bristol board again. And I need to get my pencils over here because all I've got is yellows and greens. And that's not a flamingo colour. Okay, right. For those who have just joined um yeah for those that have just joined i am going to start a new live feed because we only had a little bit to do left on the b so it only took half an hour to finish the stem um because i know you guys like your live feeds i have offered to do a second one and we have just voted on this photo to be done in the second live feed so if you give me five minutes and come and find me again and we'll start on this bad boy so i'll see you in five okay <laughs>